What's up, guys? <laughs> We are here with the one and only Paul Blaze from the Potter's Cast. Yo ho! And we are having a good time at Ensika. Paul gave a great talk yesterday about marketing funnels. I wanted a video at all, but I couldn't because you're not supposed to do that. So Against the law. Against the law. Go to jail. But Paul was just t got about to talk to me about what he loves about Ensika. Tell people. me what you love. People. I love bumping into people like you and I have been sitting here. Yeah. And in the last five minutes, six people five people yeah four people something like that about stop yeah two two of them came by just to be able to get your your shot glasses. yeah yeah <laughs> I know I put up on Instagram like hey I got three shot glasses left I don't want to take them home come find me I'll give one to you so why did you do that I don't because I just I don't know it's, I'm just in a good mood people are like so friendly and happy and I don't want to go home with the three shot glasses I brought because <laughs> <laughs> it's such a long a long trek for you yeah I have I have some other cups that I got from other people that I got to bring home with mm -hmm. me, so okay yeah it's all it's all about protecting the back then yeah, yeah. 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 Even though this camera is not protecting my back, you know, carrying that around everywhere. But yeah. But I love that people will come up like complete strangers, just come up and say that, hey, and then they start telling their story about how the show, The Potter's Cast, has impacted their lives. Which it was really exciting that one lady just three minutes ago said, oh, my two favorite people right now. Yeah, yeah. And it was amazing to see that by just doing something like, doing YouTube like what you do or the podcast like what I do how it radically impacts people's lives you don't even ex you don't even know how it touches yeah. people's lives right right and then you have an event like this where you get reminded oh that's right we're making a difference yeah yeah somewhere it is somewhere. it is amazing yeah and I'm sure you feel this with you know the downloads and the listens but those are all just numbers and then you come here and you're like oh these are real people that are all behind those views and those listens right and right that's been the biggest thing for me is like each video I put out gets four or five thousand views and it's like you lose track of that those are real people and that mm -hmm. every one of those views is probably one person and it's yeah it's just amazing mm -hmm. to see and when you come to a place like this where everyone's fired up about clay and fired up about ceramics it's pretty cool yeah do you feel that because you have you have two things going on with with at least with YouTube you've got that background thing of like where the where YouTube pays like if you make interesting content which is yep. not why you do it cuz I know you've already, you've already talked about this but do you feel like sometimes knowing that in the back of your head that that becomes like a motivating factor to make um, like content that people want to watch so that they get more views is that yeah what you're that's what I'm talking about yeah yeah, yeah. Um, that it, it is and I and I, I go back and forth a lot it's like it's, it's a balancing act between like do I just make the videos that I think I want to make or do I make the videos that like I think are gonna do well or that because you love the people that watch it. right right because there is a balance like I really yeah, love yeah. those people and then there's also like I love the numbers yeah yeah there's yeah. two there's two things which is kind of weird dude I Come will on in here yeah I don't know this is a really casual vlog here Andrew oh, okay. I didn't want to I didn't want to butt in on a recording no that's all right I'm it's butting in on a recording now. There Howdy. You go. Howdy. Nice to meet you. I'm John. Nice to meet you, John. Yeah, good yep. to meet you. Good to see you. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a call after this. All right. So he's like that the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so cool. I know. It's so, it's so like fun. Like, I'm, I'm never like, I never feel like, oh, I just got interrupted. Yeah. Or that my life was being inconvenienced. So how do people know what you look like besides They're, the presenting? I will say this. This is, and this is really dumb. Yeah. But I was in this Coming up to this in Sika, I didn't. I was reluctant to post pictures because I have a new beard. Oh yeah, yeah. And so there was a part of me saying, I want to kind of shock people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a friend in Jeremy Wright down in Southern California who's going to be on the podcast here soon. He's yeah. a high school art teacher and an amazing, just an amazing artist. He did a year of the beard. Okay. Where he shaved his whole head and then did nothing for a year. <laughs> but took a picture every single day. That's awesome. And then, and so I was going to San Diego one time and I showed up and I look. I was like. I, I saw him for the first time, and he would would not share the pictures. Yeah, yeah. Because he wanted to surprise yeah, people, yeah. And shock people, because his head was a piece of art. Yeah, he said. That's awesome. And I, and the first thing I thought was, you look like a homeless guy. Yeah. I don't want to be, be looking like the homeless guy, so I'm trimming it and stuff. But still, if that's a dumb reason. Yeah. So I don't know how people find out how I look like. I post stuff every once in a while. Yeah, me, but yeah, yeah. 
That's not the focus. No. Who cares what I look like? Yeah. You got a great voice. That's what, that's what people care about. I don't know about that. It's it's the voice I have, yeah. whether it's great or not. <laughs> so what are your what are your plans for your podcast, Union 63, like you're selling your pots? Like what what is the next ten years of your life look like? Oh good night, ten years. Not like you have it to have it planned out, but no, 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 no. I, I, well, I will say I've always, I always think that I'm not sure if I, ha if I have ten years because I'm always concerned yeah, about yeah. about cancer coming back. So, um, but the next little while, what I want to do is the Union 63 is is a union of my the the efforts of my daughter, my wife, and myself. The, all of our birthdays added up together, cool, come up to 63. So that's why that was called that. But that's mostly. Like I'm excited about helping my daughter move her art dreams ahead, and so how old's your daughter? She's 20. She'll be 23 next month. Okay. But she's wanting to. She's wanting to develop this, this dream of, of growing in a social media um, art type lifestyle that's a little bit independent of having to get the nine to five. Right. Right. That's the dream. And, and so, yeah, <laughs> you it can is. You stay out of the nine to five. Uh, yeah, nine to five, what? Yeah, right. Uh, they, but then you can, or you can go work for yourself and then it right. can be like. And it'd be like 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Yeah. Instead of nine to five. Oh, you get, a, you, you only, you get off work at eight? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah, right, yeah. I do sleep for a few <laughs> hours every night. Dude, I get up at three in the morning. Do you really? It's horrible. Yeah, because but, you just got so much going on, so many business. No, I just wake up. Oh. <laughs> I just wake up and I'm done. I'd get. I'd love it if I just got up at three and. That's horrible. Working. No, because I want to sleep. I yeah. love sleep. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, uh, cool. But anyhow, the next few few years, I don't. I just want to keep making an impact, and um, I have a couple of little ideas that are noodling around in the back of my brain that I'm not not sure what I, how I'm going to pull the trigger on them, but yeah, yeah, got things going on. Yeah. Cool. Man. How, how about you? Oh man. An interviewer interviewing an interviewer. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've been so, the last year I've been focusing on building this new studio at our house and getting out of the basement of Mocha Monkey and kind of see where that goes and obviously building the YouTube channel and kind of building the Are online presence. Are you done with the presence. Kickstarter now? Kickstarter has like five days left. Five days so left. by the time this video go live, it's probably like the last day or something. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, we overfunded that. It was like, it's like at 14,000 and we, we were asking for 10. So that was like a huge, huge thing. So now I got to make all those pots and sell them and, or, and send them. So mm -hmm. that'll be a huge thing now. It was about 18 months ago that I had the idea for the YouTube channel so I tend to like not think so far in advance that I can't follow ideas that like just come up out of nowhere you know I've stopped chasing every idea out of the room because I realized once I pulled the trigger there's a whole lot more involved in it yeah and so I slow down on my ideas now. Yep. Way more reluctant to say, oh, that's a brilliant idea, let's do something. Right, right. I still think it's a brilliant idea. Yeah. But let's think about it. Yeah, right, right. Instead of do something. Yep. I've always been really reluctant about just like going after an idea, and make sure that I can like really see it through. And that's why the YouTube channel thing for me was like, I really went after that, like learned videography, learned like how to work with the cameras, you know, mm -hmm. and. What camera is this like? So that's this a, is a nice camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice camera, and the lens is even nicer. It's this wide angle. Like, see how when we uh, when we get really close, the background's really blurry. That's how you know it's a nice lens. So it's a sweet camera. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's been so fun too. It's been so fun to fall in love with videography. Like I fell in love with ceramics too, and then combine them to do the YouTube channel. So that's what it is. You're changing the world. I'm trying. Uh, nice. Sometimes I just can't contain my John the Potter. <laughs> What's up, guys? Ah. Uh, so fun, so fun hanging out with you, man. Yeah. Anything likewise. else? Anything else you want to say to the YouTube world? How about if I say it to you, love you, man. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. 